In the previous video, we discussed about the multiple alleles by taking the example of ABO alleles found within the population. Now in this video, we will be discussing about the biochemistry of ABO blood group system, where we will be discussing about the formation of different antigens on the surface of erythrocytes. When we talk about the blood group of an individual, it is determined by the surface proteins on erythrocytes. It is actually what kind of antigen is present on the surface of RBCs. In human population, the ABO system has four possible blood groups found within the population. It's A blood group, B blood group, AB blood group, and O blood group. In case of A blood group individuals, the A antigen is present on the surface of RBCs. In case of B blood group individuals, the B antigen is present on the surface of RBCs. In case of AB individuals, both antigens are present on the surface of RBCs. And in O individuals, the H antigen is present on the surface of RBCs. Do not get confused here that maybe sometimes you might have heard that O individuals lack any antigen on RBCs. It's because the O individuals have null alleles and do not go for any addition of molecules on the precursor molecule, which is already present here in the form of H antigen. And this H antigen acts as a precursor molecule for both A and B antigens, which we are going to discuss later on in this video. Now looking at the structure of immature RBC that's devoid of any antigen yet. It has got oligosaccharide molecule on its surface having a structure that consists of glucose, galactose, and acetyl glucosamine and galactose. This is the basic structure of erythrocyte prior to any addition of fully functional surface antigens. After that, the chromosome number 19 has got H locus, that's the H antigen locus, which consists of FUT1 gene, H antigen gene, and this FUT1 gene codes for fucosyl transferase enzyme. We see the function of fucosyl transferase enzyme is that it will transfer the fucose sugar from GDP fucose molecule towards the oligosaccharide chain on RBC surface. As you can see in this diagram, on this addition, the surface molecule is now called H antigen. And this H antigen molecule is precursor for both A and B antigens. Now we have four scenarios here. Individuals expressing A allele, individuals expressing B allele, individuals expressing O allele, O allele in homozygous condition, or individuals expressing both A and B allele. Now let's take O individuals first. The individuals were O allele in homozygous condition. This O allele is null allele and it will produce a non-functional protein. And this non-functional protein will not add any molecule to the precursor H antigen. So the H antigen on the surface of RBC remains as such in its form in O blood group individuals. That's why we say O blood group individuals does not have surface antigen, but actually they have the H antigen on its surface. That's already present prior to O allele expressing. Now we have individuals expressing A allele and individuals expressing B allele. The A allele codes for an enzyme called Galnac transferase or simply n acetyl galactosamine transferase. Whereas the B allele codes for the enzyme called Gal transferase. The RBC has precursor molecule in the form of H antigen on its surface as shown in the figure. And to that Galnac transferase catalyzes the reaction of transfer of galnaic or simply n acetyl galactosamine. This catalyzes the formation of A antigen from H antigen. Then we have B allele expressing individuals where we get gal transferase enzyme. And this gal transferase enzyme transfers the galactose towards the H antigen which catalyzes the formation of B antigen from H antigen. So this is how the formation of A and B antigen takes place from H antigen with the transferase enzymes. So this is all about biochemistry of ABO blood group system. I hope you like the video. If you like it, give it a thumbs up and make sure to subscribe to the channel. Thanks.